Hello everyone. Today we're going to be looking into why the information about the Harkles children isn't in the mainstream media. We're going to be asking a question, is it an embargo or a super injunction? Now there's a difference between both of those. The difference is an embargo is the government, the powers of the land, saying the press can't report on something. A super injunction is the judicial system saying the press can't report on something. Two very different things. One has to go through the law courts. The other has to go, it goes through government. And I feel like that's a very good question to ask the cards. One, because super injunctions can be broken out of embargoes are only released when the government say so so we're going to be having a look into that and i feel it's a very good point now interesting enough when i first got these tarot cards out when i turned them over and was giving them a shuffle the first card i saw was the hierophant so we'll see if that repeats again the Hierophant is a card that is very, it's the powers, it's the church, it's, it can be seen as the state, the same with the emperor. So we're going to, we're going to have a, we're going to have a nose around. I've got two sets of cards. I've got one for the Harkles and one that I'm asking about super injunction for spirit to show us. Um, if you're new here, I work in layers, so I'm going to do a layer for the super injunction and well sorry the embargo and then i'm going to go do a layer for the harkles to see how much they know about this but i want to tell you a little bit of a short story i won't keep you long first a while ago i think it was last year maybe the year before i was approached by journalists mm -hmm. me yeah me and it's because i'm accurate i accurately predicted Megxit, how it would happen, when it would happen, who did blame, all of that stuff. And they said, oh, we've, we've put a piece together, we're going to put it out. And then they said, oh, we want to interview you, we'll ring you on this day. So I was like, okay, all right, then okay. And they never phoned. So I emailed and said, what's going on? Nothing. Like, did you get the right number? Nothing. I was like, okay. And the impression, the feeling I got from my guides, the impression I got was like, ah, it's because I talk about moon bumps. It's, yeah. So they'll see me as a conspiracy theorist or whatever. I was like, you are happy with all of that noise and all of the predictions and stuff and you like stuff like that. But the minute somebody, I see, I see, I get it. I really do. So put that aside. I should have known, but, you know, flattery, everybody's, nobody's completely immune to flattery. Um, but yeah, so there we go. So anyway, let's have a look. Let's see, embargo, embargo. Let me see the embargo. Let me see the embargo. Is there an embargo? Where are we going with this? The lovers in reverse. This, to me, I'm, I'm, I'm having a bit of a wow moment because I just pulled a card before to say what the reading was going to be like off screen and I got the lovers upright. There's a Gemini involved in here somewhere. Wow. This is why it's important to film everything that you do for YouTube because uh, this is so frustrating. 
oh my goodness, I can't go back in time and get that bit of fun. But the lovers relates to a Gemini as well, as well as with it being in reverse, there's a split. There is an actual split into what's going on. There's some truth and a half truth. Wasn't, um, didn't, I'm sure, Harry wanted to speak to Boris Johnson before he left. You'll have to Google that. But I'm sure Harry was Boris bothering before he left. Now, Boris Johnson is a Gemini. Oh, my goodness. And he was the prime minister at the time of Mexit. Okay. Let's see what's crossing over. Betrayal. Stabbed in the back. So somebody, I really feel like there has been a betrayal here. That could be the Harkles energy because all they've done is complain about Britain since they left Britain, whether it be the British press, the British people, the politicians, everything, everything they're complaining about. But there's a, so that could well be the betrayal, like the regret of putting this embargo in place. The problem is if the embargo is lifted, it makes the royal family seem like they're complicit. And it also means that the government's complicit and people have an appetite for truth. As we've seen with the vacuum that was created when Catherine's been off, people like have this need to know every little detail. And people would be all over this. Okay, so there's three agencies worked on it. Um, I've said in my readings before, I do not believe that the royals signed off on the moon bump. I really don't. I think they didn't find out till after the fact. And this is one of the will one of the reasons one of the Williams, one of the reasons William's so incensed by the Harkles. It's it's because of these absolutely incredulous lies, to be honest. The Eight of Swords. I think there was an embargo. I think there was an embargo. I know we all want the truth to come out. But I don't necessarily think that it will come out. I think enough people know. And I think a lot of people, you know, 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 that, you know what I mean? Everybody's kind of like, we were aware of it. I think the closest thing we'll get to an acknowledgement of it is the Harkles being removed from the line of succession. And to be fair, I would I, I would take that at the minute. It's not about the kids. It's not it's not Aldi and Little's fault at all. They're young, innocent children. It's the parents who are lying. Just be honest about it. Just be honest from the upfront. You know. Mm -hmm. 
There is the Knight of Swords in reverse. None of this is sitting well with me. I think people scrambled to protect a lie. A lie that would be quite disruptive and leave them open in their minds to being attacked. I think there was this, they made, they were hyperbolic about the whole thing, you know? Okay, there's the three of wands. Let me just pull the rest of the cards out and then I will talk you through what I see here and then I'll pull some cards on the Harkles. Yeah, it's an embargo, not in a super junction, I think. Okay. Three of swords in reverse. Whoever signed off on this embargo, <clears throat> Boris. I I I don't mind, I don't mind Boris. I don't mind any any politician to be honest. I'm not a political animal, you know. But whoever was the top person at the time and signed it off, because I really think the Harkles, if you think about the timeline, the Harkles left the UK January 2020, yeah. Bojo was PM then. There wasn't the disdain for the Harkles to, it, there wasn't the disdain that there was now, people didn't like them. There was Mexiteers. There wasn't that many of us back then. But, 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 but they've really shown themselves for who they are, to be honest with you. And I so remember, was it at the Commonwealth Day speech or something? It was when Harry was going on his freedom flight and all that stuff. It was it was at, the, at maybe after the Commonwealth service, something like that. Um, I remember it. I remember it. The hanged man in reverse. Okay. What are they hoping for? The Knave of Pentacles is in reverse. Oh, my goodness. And the Star in reverse. Okay, so the embargo was initially done for Archie. I don't potentially know if there's one for Lily Bucks, though. But there is one for Archie. Archie comes through as... The page of pentacles even though we think he was born a bit earlier Megsy makes a lot of the fact that he's a taurian she has all that little jewelry with taurus on and all that stuff we have here the star in reverse and the star is a very hopeful card it's a heart a card of healing Aquarians are the truth tellers, they're the disruptors. I know I'm an Aquarian. They're the, the Aquarians have a knack of seeing through BS a bit like a bit like Scorpios. There has been a breakdown. There was three people working on it, three agencies working together. However, the three of ones in reverse shows that there is a shattering of trust between all parties and that it's not going anywhere. So I think the embargo is still in place. However, we have the star card here in reverse. There's 
wounding someone's egos wounded by all this so i'm guessing it was it was the then prime minister and the hanged man in reverse here yeah they realize they've been played I think there's an element of being played here. A very big element of being played here. Let's have a look at the Harkful's energy. I won't keep you too long. It shouldn't be that long. Let's have a look. Oop. I keep putting my cards in the wrong decks, you know. <laughs> oh, I'm a daft. Okay, let's have a look. They took this. Um, they have lied. Five of Swords in reverse. They have lied. They have been disruptive. That's nothing new. And loss and regret and upset they're not wanting i think this really triggers them you know i think anyone who does anything about moon bumps and anything like that it really triggers them because that's over target and this is why they kind of like throw a load of rubbish at people like they throw different things at different people and you're this, you're that, there's this, there's that. And they do loads of different puff pieces. It's to always to distract from the truth or distract from something else. A bit like William at the Diana Awards. And then all of a sudden I'm doing beige jam and beige Tupperware. Look at me. It's just, it's that energy. They can't have anybody else in the spotlight but also they can't have anyone being critical of them or or oh yeah you know where i'm going with that oh my goodness there's the knight of swords as well that's a repeater now when i work i like to see if there's any repeaters and the knight of swords it's a repeat and the ace of pentacles in reverse This woman was never pregnant. I know we already established that. I know we already know that. The Ace of Pentacles is the sign, is one of the signs in the tarot that you can say, yes, somebody's going to have a baby. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What's driving this in the position underneath? <laughs> there was, she was never pregnant. Allegedly, my conspiracy, whatever. The Knight of Swords above, again, what they want is protection. They want to be seen to be protected. They want to feel to be protected. They want everyone to protect them. So not only is there an embargo, and you've got to remember when King Charles and Diana were doing like the, the whole kind of like playing the media off against each other thing, there wasn't any embargoes. There was just, it was just tit for tat fighting. The, the Harkles have managed to finesse their way up to, to somebody who Boris is, I think he's more of a libertarian. Well, he was at some point, but it, <laughs> I don't know. He, he, they've even managed to get him to go, all oh, right, oh yeah, that's the patriotic right thing to do. They've really went all the way to the top because I don't see King Charles as the emperor on any of these cards. I do not see the King of Cups or the Knight of Cups. So there's no William in this. There's no external influences so far, but there's a lot about protection. Oh, we won't be protected. We've been told we won't be protected. And that this is what they wanted. They wanted from the government that's an embargo, the Knight of Swords. Now, the Knight of Swords can be, of course, an air sign younger man it's also this card of the uniform services 
or indeed the secret services and all that stuff. But the Knight of Swords in reverse, the pet, sorry, the Five of Swords in reverse shows to me that they lied and they knew they lied. So this is why they wanted to shut people down. There's the lovers in reverse. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. We've got the repeaters, Knight of Swords, and oh, okay. There's the Three of Swords, Hurt. The Six of Swords, Journey, that's them leaving. That's when they went. And the burning of the bridges to boogering something new with death. That's what they want, but they went too far. Okay. They never wanted the light of truth to be shone on them. The sun in reverse is the same card mirrored on the embargo deck as Archie. And there we have the Hierophant in reverse. Wow, okay. I think we've got to the bottom of this a bit. I feel like, in my opinion, allegedly, whatever, I, in my opinion, they didn't get it. They didn't get the embargo before or after their first one was born. They got it just as Harry was leaving the, the UK in March 2020. And why they keep undermining and attacking and going at the people of the UK and have their lapdogs like Ahmed Scabies, that strange woman, Dr. Shouty person, that weird photographer guy, all of those people, Darkest Manderson, all of those people creeping around in shade. And they're acting kind of like a fifth column. All because they couldn't fess up and say we used a surrogate. Surrogacy isn't illegal in the UK, but paid for surrogacy is. That's something to also bear in mind. The Hierophant in reverse doesn't look like they will fall out with the government. Now, I don't see Rishi Sunak ever do an expose on this. Keir Starmer. It's about as exciting and as dangerous as a wet weekend in Cleethorpes. So I don't think he is going to do anything to rock the boat either. If you've got somebody who was more of an anti-monarchist, they might do it because the crown would be complicit in this. That's, that's something to remember. The way the public have reacted, not the public, the way the media have reacted to Catherine, it would all of this would really, really explode. I mean, I want the truth to come out, but I also want to protect the working members of the royal family at the same time. It's very... It's a conundrum because I know exactly how the anti-monarchists and the, basically anti-monarchists and the um, lefty, that's lefty as in left leaning not left handed left leaning um people would go like especially against the monarchy and the patriarchy and blah 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 but the harkles are going to have a falling out with government i wonder if they're going to kind of like try and smear some people
in power. Boris. It's difficult being a... It's difficult, isn't it? You don't know what was said in a sense, but yeah, he's... Um, He's probably tried to do the right thing. But it looks like, because he has got the Three of Swords. Um, I really feel like he has been hurt. He feels like he has been lied to by them. And the truth has been misrepresented to him. Now, you've got to remember, at the time Harry was leaving the UK, he was still seen as quite popular and Queen Elizabeth was still around and he was da 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 it's only really the public mood started to change after Oprah and then the Netflix thing and Spare really did the job on themselves they did the job on themselves I think we're getting somewhere with this. Well, okay. I am going to love yous and leave yous. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this reading. Please share it about, subscribe and all of that youtuber -y stuff. Thank you very much for spending some time with me as well. It's nice to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments section. Leave me a sparkly Merlin. Uh, well, basically, a sparkly Merlin is a little black cat shooting a shooting a star out of its bum because we're not very mature on this channel <laughs> even though we talk about heavy subjects from time to time um i hope you've had a good saint patrick's day and i'll see you guys really really soon for some more bye everyone <laughs>